Muzzle morons, we're sitting here with my co-host, uh, Donald Trump's spray tan operator, and we're here with the great Connor, no longer Fibula. Well, it's still Fibula, but we're calling him Connor, okay? A little rebrand. Yeah. Thanks Just, for having me, Mr. guys. Mr. Wood. By the way, I'm sorry. Like, the, the spray tan, it's been a little, it's been a little too much. No, no, I think much. it's right on. You think so? Yeah, if you can't tone it, tan it. I know, it's hard, though. You know, the, the machine, it just goes, it takes on a life. It's a, Connor, you, unbelievable to see you. You too. Yeah, what's going on? I was going to say you're glowing. I feel like I'm glowing. I yeah. think it's just because I'm warm. Like, I'm hot. It gets warm in these rooms. It does, it but does. we did run outside yesterday at Prime UV, UV Ray Did you hour. both run the 5K? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did we oh run? Oh, my God, Did guys. we run? Did we Thank run? You Thank Where you. Where were you? Where were you? You don't I run? Was, I, I do run. I... I asked about going, and there it was a pretty fast no. Wow! Yeah. You didn't there, ask the right people. I don't. I don't think I did. We were, there sur were, we were plenty surrounded. of nobodies. We were surrounded you by a bunch of nobodies. You certainly could really? have. Really? Yeah. You could have. You were. Maybe you were, were high just, up on the on the mountaintop there. I don't know why it was such a swift no, but it was. It was a swift no. Doesn't yeah. that hurt? It does. Oof, it now doesn't. knowing what I know. A fast snow. Ouch! How was it? It was. It was nice out yesterday. It's like running weather right now. It was good. Look, I wasn't prepared for the hills. Okay. It was hills? I yeah, thought it was, it was hilly. Flat. It was hilly. It wasn't flat. It's it the Rose Bowl, right? It wasn't flat. It's pretty flat. By the way, it's not it's not the Rose Bowl. I thought the elevation. I thought, yeah. I thought we're going into the stadium and running like a track. Yeah. No, we're running in the parking lot of the Rose Bowl. We were. I'm just saying to say the Rose Bowl is a little come on. Rose come Bowl on. adjacent. That's like saying we're running in Madison Square Garden, but we're running up and down thirty first and seventh. <laughs> You know, like, no, we're running outside of the Rose Bowl. Yeah. That said, very happy to have been invited. So I don't want to uh, the great shit on it too much. Burton Burton right. Tom 5K. Yeah, that was cool. It what was. was the deal? I saw like a bunch of pictures. He's like pushing a golf cart at some point. Who? Uh, Bert? Bert. He kept going live on Instagram. Yeah. There was a lot of stuff going on. That oh, yeah. wasn't the run. Hijinks. No. Hijinks. Foolery. Mischief. Yes. Shenanigans. Yeah. All the things. You name it. I it was such an impressive event because there were all these people there and then you go into the Rose Bowl for the after party and the entire field is full of j just vendors and um, ice corn, baths. Cornhole. Corn. Josh climbed a rope, like a rope climbing machine, whatever the hell that was. <laughs> I only went I'm halfway. confused on what was, what was the theme once you got into the Rose Bowl. There's rope, there's corn on, corn hole, no corn, corn on, on the cob. cob. No cob. No. Okay. Just hole. Just yes. no cob. Yeah. We're which, just doing corn hole right now. Corn okay. hole. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, uh, there was a golf simulator. There was a batting cage. It was really arcade game style once mm -hmm. you got in. Jelly roll, cold plunging. There was a lot. Yeah. That's, that's there was that a lot. classic. Like, I just kept seeing my friend, like, people's stories. I'm like, this is like that unemployed friend on a, on a Tuesday story. That's, that's what us. I said to you. That's, that's what, what I said. What is going said, on at the I Rose Bowl? I said, who is free? At 11 a.m. on a Tuesday, how are there thousands of people here? It doesn't yeah, I was I was I was fascinated by it, yeah. but I mean I wasn't even at work, but I was like, oh, I'm like kind of missing out over at the Rose Bowl. I might drive in and and peek. Yeah, you're you're a fairly fit man. What what do you do for your overall fitness? I run. I love oh, running. Oh really? Yeah, I, know. I do run. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been. Oh, I'm like pissed off right now about the run that I missed. No, I, I run. I just started lifting. Mm. which is great because I've been doing it for six months and my body's the same. <laughs> it's solid. So it's like, like I'm getting stronger, but it's like, I don't really give, you know, like I want to, I want to look better. I don't, I don't, I'll do steroids. Like I don't care. I just want to look oh, great. Us too. You're talking want, to the right guy. Too. I want chest. I want shoulder. I want back, but I don't, I'm working really hard and I'm not seeing any return on investment. So I'm kind of like, should I get those insane bicep implants? At Ooh, this point, implants. I'm in for that. Do you take creatine? I do. Wow. Yeah, it's great. Do no? you? I don't take it. I snort it. Do you? Is no, it good? It's sick. Um, it doesn't like I put it in a. Here's what I think. This is so insane. I feel like I'm not doing it right because I put everything. I'm doing AG1. I'm doing protein. I'm doing creatine. I'm doing. There's some other powder I put in it. Cocaine. <laughs> and then um, I put it all in with bananas and blueberries and everything. And then I drink it. And it's like. There's no way that knows where it's going in my body once I drink it, right? I don't know. Is it all just... I take AG1. Absolutely love it. Me love too. It. No, I, I take none AG1. of these other things, though. Oh, I put colostrum in it. That's my new thing that I do. Oh, you know mm. colostrum? Is that, the, is that the beef fat? It's breast milk. It's, breast bre it's booby milk. Breast milk. And it's the early milk. It's the pus. It's breast milk from a, from a cow? Yeah. yeah bovine. Bovine wow. colost. Wow. We should, we should start 
like a, a colostrum pop-up in LA where it's the actual utter, right? Like I think influencers would go and drink straight from the teat if it mm. meant that they had smooth skin. Thoughts? I, first of all, I think anything for beauty. And also they should make like a camel pack. Like, you know, like <gasps> the, yes. but with the little hose, the mouthpiece is an utter. Yes, is I that, like that. Is that our first piece of like real merch? Love it, in. Like, like <laughs> water bottle that. tops or udders? Utters. Yeah. That's fun. Real like, utters too. Yes. Okay. <laughs> when I, no vegan udders. No, no real udders. This is like a very real Freud. R.I.P. Freud. You would have loved the ve the vegan udder on the yeah. water bottle. Wait, Freud it. would love a vegan udder. Freud was like really. I'm like, in the mothers love making stuff up. So I may have made this up. No, it's good. Freud. Okay. Um, I'm lying. I, so <laughs> Freud, I think, was like obsessed with or like had all these theories about oral fixations. And then also mm. being in love with your mom. Yes, definitely. So I don't know if those two things, again, made have made it up. Might have been two, uh, two separate people. As Sigmund Freud used to say, if it's not one thing, it's your mother. R exactly. Yes. yes. Yeah. I'm in. Oh, my gosh. And I didn't he, know we had some, some Freud stands in the, in, the, of, in the joint today. Speaking of coke, <laughs> Freud loved it. Really? Yeah, famously. Wow, that's awesome. But he's getting all lit up. Like, that's a problem, right? Like, if I do coke, I'm going to be in the corner of a bad club in West Hollywood grinding my teeth and wondering if my ancestors are ashamed of right. me. Right. But then there are people who do cocaine and change the world. They do. They did. <laughs> yeah. They, they did. did. They did. Yeah. I they think did. we might have like advanced past the level of cocaine where it, we're inventing things. Yeah. I think I, now it's like, we should start a business, man. And then they ne you never do because now yeah. we're a bunch of talkers. Yeah. We need to do cocaine and finish the job. Now. Action. Yeah. We need some, action. We need some, crypto. some cocaine ex executionists. <laughs> Rebrand crypto. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> yeah. In. Bring it back. Um, I wish that you ran the 5K because maybe you <sighs> could have beat Travis Barker, who... I'm here to say is the fastest man in the world. Like Flew. you've seen Us Usain Bolt, Usain or Usain? 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 Yeah. And cool. it's amazing are. that he didn't do a rebrand with Usain in the membrane. Ooh, that's good. Usain in the brain. Did you guys do coke? Would that be <laughs> funny? <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, uh, uh, Travis Barker, maybe a five minute mile. Was he running in he, s black he, skinny jeans and a coat? He, How was he dressed? He, he, wore, a he, huge, he, wore, a, he wore a huge jacket that just said speed on the back. Did and then they really? said go, and I was up to one mile. He was already running back. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it was a there and back thing? Yeah. I wouldn't do well at that. I want to see new scenery the entire time. No, it was hard. I thought it was hard. Josh We're was We're so too. like, you know, I, when I used to run regularly, this is when I used to get free Uber credits. By the way, Uber, what happened? Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I would run, and instead of turning around, like I'd want to do five miles, I'd run five miles straight, Uber back. Yes, mm, yeah. I did that. Great. I did that, but I would get a bird back. Because then it would be like, by the time I get home, I'm not sweating anymore. Mm. You know, I could walk into my building and I, it would, because the wind would be good for me. And you would humble yourself because there you are five miles in, you feel incredible because yeah. you just did this amazing feat. You're like, I can't feel this good about myself. Let me go get on a bird to remind myself I suck. You kind of, well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I was listening to the same music and it just kind of felt like I was flying home. Yes. I would move my arms really fast and it felt like I was still running, but. I, it did have, the scooter companies in general have failed massively, they, right? They're just very scary. Like Claudia and I did those scooters in Portugal and oh man. Is it the same kind as? Yeah, it was Bird. Bird, yeah. Bird, and like, but like you're doing it on cobblestones, like, it, like next to a, a bus. Yeah. And like, they're very, very scary. And I feel like too many people are dying. I think people are dying. And they're very dangerous. They are, right? For sure. Yeah, it's much, much more dangerous than a city bike, which I think is the most dangerous thing ever because you're putting these dumb tourists with no helmets. If you don't own a bike, you shouldn't be able to rent a bike and then ride next to New York City taxis. I love Michigan. city bikes. You do. But you bike. <laughs> No, you're a biker. I own, I own the city. I exclusively city bikes. My friends, all that live in the city, they're like, "You, I cannot believe you city bike. I'll bike from like Tribeca to 56th. And you haven't almost died? Oh, yeah. But I I used to work at Bird when it first like launched. No like, way. Like really early on. And it's so funny because when I was interviewing there, I kept dropping into my interview like, you know, I was hit by a bird. And they like, I was like, oh, they wouldn't laugh. And I'd be like, oh, maybe they didn't hear it. I'll try it again in the next interview. They just didn't like hearing that someone was hit by a bird. So because because they're constantly in lawsuits, thousands of lawsuits. Wow. Oh, After, they are. Well, I don't know what's going on over there now. I was let go. 
and that's how why we're here yeah, right now. But thank God, um, half the company was lawyers, and then the other half was government relations, and then there was like a couple huh. people on this like small startup team huh. that was like marketing, um, growth. <laughs> Etc. And but then like, there was one like rad dude in his forties who was head of scooters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah there's a, there's a bunch of made in his up. office and just like pictures of old razors. Yeah, <laughs> like the the original <laughs> scooter. He's like, we need shocks. And they're like, we're sued. And just like somebody's <laughs> black and blue ankle, like <laughs> just broken from, from, the, from the razor days. Oh. Reinventing the broken ankle. We're doing yeah. necks now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's it. I just remember there was like a three, like birds came out, the rentable scooter thing was hot. Yeah. And I'm like, I will do this yeah. one day. I'm not sure when. I even downloaded the app. And then it, in a three month span on Santa Monica Boulevard, I saw four people randomly sitting on the curb, bloodied face, mm. broken, toppled over bird, and just them being like, ah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> like I'm never. That would be me. Yep, yep. I know. There's, there's. Someone tweeted something that was like, "Damn, summer's flying by faster than two drunk girls sharing a bird scooter." <laughs> it's like so true. They are flying down, especially in. I'm in Venice, and like in Venice, people are two people. People will be one person sitting on a case of beer, the other person's in front driving. There'll be a dad and his son right below. I'm like, take a bite of your teeth. It's nice yeah, knowing you. That's going to be a quick end of the weekend, by the way. Just buy, get a second bird. Yeah. Oof. You know, the truth is, is that everyone's dealing with ways in which to stay healthy, to lose some body mass, and summer's coming up. But inevitably, we're all just on our own journey of what's best for our body. And Roe provides access to the most popular weight loss shots on the market. The Row Body Program pairs a weekly shot with healthy lifestyle changes so you can lose 15 to 20% of your weight in a year on average and actually keep it off. This is unprecedented, guys. Never before in our lifetime have we, we seen the ability in which to do that in this aided way that's just going to make your life a little bit easier and you're going to finally be able to get down to your goal. Over 200,000 people have already chosen Roe to help them lose weight. And Roe's partners, they handle all the insurance paperwork to help get the medication covered. If you're eligible for the medication, patients have access to their provider. So if you have on demand, if you need questions answered, it's all on demand. And you can sign up online from the comfort of your own home. This means no scheduling, a doctor's appointment, no commute to the doctor's office, and no waiting rooms. Average weight loss is 15 to 20% in one year with healthy lifestyle changes. BMI and other eligibility criteria apply. Go to row.co slash good. Sign up today and you'll pay just $99 for your first month and $145 a month after that. Medication costs are separate. That's ro.co slash good. Sunday was started by two brothers, right? Who believed in better, better ingredients, better results, better backyards made for living. Look, did you know that the American yard has some of the highest concentration of pesticides? That's gross, right? It's got five times more pesticides, pesticides, I can speak, used per acre on lawns compared to industrial farms. Last time I checked, you don't live on a farm, you live on a cul-de-sac. So why so many pesticides, Jack? Look, Sunday is disrupting the lawn care industry with science-backed innovation across lawn and garden pro products. Like, no toxic pesticides or harsh chemicals, only simple, nutrient-dense ingredients like seaweed, molasses, and iron that work with nature to help you grow a beautiful lawn the easy way. Sunday is the future of lawn care, and it's better for people, pets, and the planet. And I have little people who run on my lawn. I don't want them to be around pesticides. Look, it's available nationwide at Lowe's, Target, Walmart. Oh, and also on GetSunday.com. But lawns are part of our everyday life, and it's time to rethink how we take care of them. So Sunday is available at Lowe's, Target, and Walmart stores nationwide. Use code GOODGUYS20 for 20% off your custom lawn plan on GetSunday.com. Dot com. One more time, use code GOODGUYS20 for 20% off your custom lawn plan on GetSunday.com. Where are you from? Yeah. Texas. Texas. Hell yeah. Where in Texas? Austin. Austin. Yeah. Austin cool. is awesome. Austin and Houston. Yeah. Austin. And so do, do you, you lean you on in Austin? Austin? Austin just sounds so much cooler to say. And there's nothing to say. When people are like, oh, tell me about Houston. No. 
What? What about nothing interesting? Who's the guy with the grills from Houston? He's awesome. Um, oh, I guess I'm. Un I guess I didn't grow up with. I'll think more. the grill. Master. I'm much older than you. But you guys talk, and I'll think about grills. Is it like? Is, is he like a Paul rapper? Wall. Oh, Paul, Paul Wall. Paul Wall. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about like a of grill course. manufacturer. <laughs> it's like Traeger. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love Traegers. Traeger. <laughs> Paul Wall, of course. Paul Wall. Sure. No, I know Paul Wall. Paul Wall. Slim Dogs from Houston. I think of all the rappers now. I think that's all I know. So when did you move rappers. to LA? Uh, five years ago. When you wanted to make your dreams come true? Yeah, I couldn't wait to work at Bird. Got it, got it. <laughs> and, for those, and for those that don't know Connor Wood, just tell us a little more. You should know him. What are you nuts? What are you but nuts? Brooke and Connor nuts? make a podcast. Yeah, we have a podcast. We need to pod swap. Let's do it. Yeah, please. that would be in. so fun. Great. And we're over, we're in, I mean, we probably don't want to just tell everyone where we record. We're over here, and yeah. so we should swap. We should swap one day. Angeles area. Yeah, we're in LA. Um, we have Brooke and Connor make a podcast with my co-host Brooke Averick, Lady Afron, on TikTok. Um, when you were then, thinking of that name, did Zach and Mary make a porno? Exactly have anything what to it do is. With it? it was okay. Yeah, because we were like, oh, there's so many podcasts that are like, come again with Brooke and Con you know, I'm like we can't do that because we're gonna be so embarrassed by it in six months smart so um and then it's like a guy and a girl and i was like let's just do our names so they're in it because we weren't going to do like a photo of ourselves on it because we couldn't find a good photo of both of us together so then i was like let's do like brooke and connor make and then i was like oh like a porno yeah and it was supposed to be a placeholder and then it just like rolls off the tongue really well and then we can't change it next it's too late so i like the name <laughs> that's it. good but our original like art was the exact same art as zach and me to make a porno got it great so Good and, thinking, by the way. No one ever gets that. No, no. What was your uh, What was growing up in Austin like? Uh, I'm guessing bucolic. I see you on the swim team. Tell us everything. Connor. I was. I actually so like most of my childhood well, was in Houston. Good body, good body type. I was born in Austin, and then what's funny? Full circle. I went to the hospital for drinking in college at the same hospital that I was born in. Isn't that special? Wow, cool. Yeah, full circle moment for me. What were you drinking? Um, it, I don't not know. Not spritz. Not spritz. <laughs> it wasn't no, spritz. Definitely not. No, it was just like a. It was a college formal, and everybody that night, I guess, like they had made punch, and everybody drank the same punch, mm. and like people were dropping like flies. No way. And I was not dropping like flies. I was just walking home, and someone called the cops on me for being drunk. Just like well, <gasps> they said, my 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 walk was unsteady, and so they called the cop. I was like a block from my house, like too. doing the right thing. In walking, theory, walking home, home, I had my cowboy boots in my hand. I was walking barefoot, so like it, the signs were there. But I was 19, and then they were they like breathalyzed me, and they're like, "You are 19. Like we have to, our tubes are tied. We have to send you to the hospital. Our tubes are tied. They're tied. <laughs> we have no choice." Fascinating <laughs> saying. And so then I had to spend the night in the hospital, <laughs> sitting straight up, just like in a chair for an IV. They didn't no, no like stomach pump or anything. But then they just went home and then I got a $5,000 bill for an ambulance. Ugh. Oh. Wow. Cuz they had to send me in an ambulance. No legal ramifications, just a night in the hospital. There were legal ramifications. Hot. hot. Okay, say more. Yeah, so the hospital let me go that next morning. And then I just went about my business for 6 months. You go so like am I a fugitive now? Or? <laughs> no, I was like <laughs> no, I <literally> he's here. <laughs> <laughs> I go, "Can I go?" Cause it was like five in the morning or something, still like dark out, and they're like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Oh, okay, thank you." No, I didn't pay anything, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, it must be like a college thing." Like I go to school at UT Austin, it must be like mm -hmm. an agreement with the school if they're right here. And I literally walked across the street to my dorm room or whatever, went in, went about my business for six months. Then it's my buddy's twentieth birthday. We go camping in San Antonio. We bring beers. We're out at this campsite. And the state trooper rolls up and is like, hey, you can't have beers in a state park. And I was like, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I feel like it's illegal to go camping without beer. Yeah. You know? like, like, also, we're camping in San Antonio, not Yellowstone. Yeah. Totally. Oh, oh yeah. Right? No, and if you're camping sober, go ahead and check everyone's cars. and Because you're smuggling drugs. That's a money laundering <laughs> camp trip. Right. Yeah. You know, like, what are you doing? So... They go and then they run everybody's IDs and we're all 19 and 20 and they're like, ah, like you guys are cool. Like you're cooperative. Just dump out all the beers and we'll send you home. And then they go, but they run our IDs. They go, you guys are good. But which one's Connor? And I was mm. like, present. And they were like, you have a warrant out for your arrest. 
Like, no, I don't. You're the wrong guy. I'm five foot, what, a, like eight, what, a, I weigh a hundred pounds. Like, I'm on the swim team. I'm wearing a Patagonia, like fluffy jacket and like joggers and Nikes. And I'm like, you got the wrong guy. Look at me. And they're like, I know. It feels like we do, but and like we have a, you have this warrant out, whatever. They arrest me. And it was like sophomore year of college. So you, you're just making your friends. So all my friends that I just made are like, who is this who guy? The is he and what has he been lying this to us about? Artist. Anna Delphi is on our camping trip. <laughs> and so then they, since we're not in Austin, I had this like warrant out in Austin. They had every county line, they had to switch cop cars and put me in a new cop car oh my God. to get me back to Austin. They arrest me. They put me in the cell with a striped suit and whatever. I must have striped pajamas. Striped suit. And then they, whatever, I'm in there. I'm in the cell with all these other guys. And I hear these guys talking. They're like, yeah, like they picked me up for like murder in Las Vegas and drove me back here and the cop tells me like don't go near the guy in the back he has scabies I'm like put him in put him in somewhere else right? <laughs> scabies vintage There's nine guys in here everyone's gonna have scabies in 20 minutes whatever and then I finally get out <laughs> vintage guy over there has polio <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he has scabies Rick has scurvy we'll get him some vitamin C what do you mean he has locusts <laughs> get Rick an orange <laughs> anyways that night I guess I had run from the cops and the cops wrote me a ticket for evading arrest mm. and never filed it or something so I never got it and it said they just sent me to the hospital and so I had a, and I had a, a warrant out that whole time and what did we learn from this experience? <laughs> Don't go camping in San Antonio. I guess, yeah. yeah. We learned a lot of stuff. I guess if I wouldn't have worn cowboy boots, I probably wouldn't have had blisters, so I would have had normal shoes on, mm. so I would have been walking normally. Mm. Well, if that is not the most alcoholic explanation to an issue I've ever heard. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> drink less. These goddamn <laughs> cowboy boots. Did you guys really? not pregame this? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, we I did. I had another, you want to know why I'm actually late right now? Something horrible else happened to me today. You were barely oh, late, no. by the way. I like, don't want people to minutes. think you're a late guy. You well, it's fine. weird. Minute. It's you're weird good. with podcasts because when someone says 11, is that to you guys, we click record at 11 or is that like, get here, have a water, have a coffee. Ideally, meet. that's get here in this room. 11. This, in room. this room at 11. And sure, we'll start rolling at 11.05. Yeah. Yeah. Five minute grace max, by the way. I don't like this whole, like, are we going to get started soon? Like, no. Yeah. Keep it tight. Keep tight. it tight. Tight. Because people have stuff to do. The You know, like, when we do our podcast, we when we have a guest on, we have the we have a second episode after that we put on, like, a Patreon. And so we have, like, the grace period of, like, they wait, can hang out for wait, a little bit. Talk to us about that. The, the Patreon? No, just like, so you have the episode, and then what do you do for the Patreon? The Patreon, actually, we kind of, there's so much less pressure that people mm. actually end up liking our paywall episode way more, which kind of pisses me off. Because I put on Great. so much, like, uh, button up, I'm in my, my I dressed up for that, and then our, our Patreon episode's like this. What are you going to have for lunch? That's it's right, like, it's literally, good. just you let it all hang out. Yeah. You know, but... Yeah, it's it's so much everyone's and I don't get it. I'm like I put on so much I have topics I got a docket for you guys and then we go into the thing and I'm like Like when's the last time you saw a ladder? Like I'm just like it's the dumbest <laughs> shit like, I'd be like, I love that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I should try last for the man. Yeah Some I, I my theory on that is that people are li living such compartmentalized lives now and like so afraid of the outdoors yeah. that they're fascinated with the inane like it's it used Thank God, to be by the way. <laughs> yeah, it used to be like I want to watch a western. Like I want to see someone like you know shooting people on horseback. Yeah. And now it's like I want to see someone who debates ladders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to see two friends hanging out, which yeah. is awesome because yeah. no one has friends. Yeah, no one has friends. Wait, so what terrible thing happened to you? It's not. I don't want to say terrible because everyone's gonna be like you pussy after I say it. But do you guys have dog? You have a. I know you have a dog. Do you have a dog, Josh? I don't. Okay. Um, so you, there's this thing with dogs where like you pretty much get used to how much they poop. And so you're only prepped that much. So I bring one bag with me per walk because he poops once my yeah. dog Max. Yeah. Today he had a rogue poop mm. and it was in a nice neighborhood. And I was like, I have to pick this up. And all I have is my, my late night with Seth Meyers tote bag, which I, is a prize for me. I love Seth Meyers. And he sent it to me because oh, he wow. knows how much I like Seth. I mean, thanks for the tote, Seth. Yeah. How about an invite? 
I would love to come to the show. Yeah, a tote? That's almost <laughs> worse. I wear the tote every day. Yeah. And you know he didn't send you that tote, by the I way. His, his, he definitely has like a 20-year-old intern I like that's the, a fan you know, like, of the yeah, show. Seth sent me this tote. Yeah. I like to think that. You know, like, <laughs> let me have something. Seth didn't send well, you the tote. Unfortunately, I had to dump out my... I have to dump sack today and use it as a dog poop picker-upper. And then... This isn't. This is different in New York. I had to pick up his his poop with like a canvas tote, oh, which weird. is just like, now, you, cause me, I go leaf. Me too. Go, Let me find a hefty leaf. A leaf. A leaf. You walk away. <laughs> that's right. the difference. <laughs> no, that's what do you like like me? Leaf? I leave. Yeah, same. Oh, leave. <laughs> it depends. Oh, that's joking. wrong. You go. No, and then I'll explain. Can you continue? I you find go a, a, he a hefty leaf. I'm talking from a sycamore. I'm talking from a palm. Yes. yes. Sure. And I will wrap it and I will try to dispose of it quickly. And then I just will wash my hand as what soon as What was the possible. consistency? It was a good, healthy poop. Like you could have picked it up with a leaf? solid. There were no leaves inside. I was thinking that there were no leaves inside. But you huh, could have physically picked it up with a leaf and it wouldn't have been messy. If I had a good sycamore or palm option, I would have done it. But it was like little leaves that are like if I... Like from a succulent. If I licked my hand and stuck my hand into them, maybe there'd be enough surface area where I could pick it up and not get... Mm -hmm. But then what do I do? So the thing about LA neighborhoods versus New York, I can find a trash can in New York. In LA, mm -hmm. if you put poop in someone's trash can with the ring cameras nowadays, mm. they have been printing out pictures of people... And putting them all over the neighborhood, poop bandit on the run. <laughs> and it's like pictures of me, not me yet. That would have been good press. Great, yeah. that's poop a great bandit. Come to come to the poop bandit show. <laughs> yeah, I'm performing live. Yeah. Just a picture of Connor, like. <laughs> uh. Oh there's, my god! There's nothing worse though than a rogue poop. That's a very good excuse for being late. Theo, before he died tragically, used to do that. I'm sorry, by the way. And uh, it's okay. It happens. And, but there, it's also sometimes on me. Like I would leave the house sometimes and forget mm. to bring a bag. And then I would yeah. do the leaf thing because we're typically in Central Park. But sometimes on our walk back, he'd just take a dump on 77th and 5th in front of like an insane building. Yep. And I would do one of these. <clears throat> run. <sighs> Had no choice. If wow. there's nothing there, there's nothing there. Or I would turn to the person like on the street like oh like and say very loudly like oh yeah i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna go pick it up i'm gonna go get a bag and come pick it up i look so schizophrenic you guys yeah when he poops and i know there's ring cameras on and i can't find them i am coming back i'm coming back to this place mental note just so that they have it so that exactly. when they review and they need to print out the picture of the screenshot of me my intention is to come back might I forget? Of course. That's I'm a human. I'm just okay. a man right. at sure. the end of the day. Fair, fair, fair. But my intention, my pure of heart, I want to come back yeah. and get this poop. Yeah. Sure. Things happen. But I had to bring, because I can't dump, there's no public trash cans in like, in LA. Not in like residential in like neighborhoods, yeah, no. right. So I brought the poop with me to Dear Media Studios today. Whoa. No. Yeah, I found a trash can in the parking garage, but- I had to drive with it here, and it was 52 minutes oh, with poop. You're crazy. What am I going to do? At you a light, you couldn't like have just jumped thrown out? Thrown it out it's, the window? It's my Seth Meyers canvas tote. You can't, you're, you're keeping the tote? No, but it's you can't litter. Oh, you mean like stop at a light? Or a gas station? I was station? already late. I was late, and I already tried to push. I already tried with Ben earlier this week to push this. And, like He did it. He I, did it, and I ghosted him, and then he said, don't worry about it. Oh. I was just like, move, smart move, smart, smart, smart move. Ben, ben if you followed back up and were like, hey man, like really need to move this, I would have responded. Ben, but ben instead he's like, hey, gotta move this, like, or like, do you mind, like, blah, blah, blah. I said nothing and then he retracted. <laughs> That's a good way, it's a really good I good did a good? Thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, no, I mean, listen, I'm, well, Thank first you. I'll say, <laughs> first I'll say that Ben took no worries if not to heart. Yeah. Yeah. Said, oh great, he said no worries, I'm not gonna worry. <laughs> but the thing about me- Say less, man. <laughs> <laughs> Think about me is I will double triple text. Like I have no shame in my triple texting. I'm yeah. like, I know that either like one, you respond in your head, and Claudia does this too. And I the, I started feeling so much better about that when I heard they had a guest on their podcast and I could hear her talking the way I think, but she was saying everything out loud. Like, I texted you and they are you like I called you and you hung up on me because I wasn't talking fast enough. I'm like, okay, cool. Like that's by the way, I'm an amazing texter. Yeah, you are. You're My wife it. is a horrendous texter. Mm. 
You so are you, an amazing text. I am. Yeah. You are not. I know. <laughs> you're, you're bad. We just discovered yesterday that Josh has read receipts on and he didn't know I it. I think oh, just with no. you because I checked. <laughs> <laughs> and then I noticed yesterday he's reading it and responding immediately. I checked. I did check and, and like, I'm like, I have that feature turned off on my phone. So maybe it's just with you. Well. Oh, I have nightmares of that exact uh, caliber. It's, it's bad. like Oof. I have read everyone's message and I haven't responded to any. But I have this thing. I'm trying to do better at this. This has helped me a lot. So someone on TikTok said, um, don't put it down, put it away. And it's about stuff in your house. Like, oh, you, mm. I'm trying to think of something. Oh, you finish, you use the knife and then you put it down on the cutting board. You move totally. On. Clean as but we go. But it's like, you put it down, it takes the same amount of effort to just clean it, you know, put it away or so, something is a better example than that, whatever. And so I've started using that as like text, like, don't just reopen it and say come back. Just respond to it. It's so much easier. Just so instead of putting it down, put it away. Just respond to the text. It's great because it, it weighs on you. That. It feels like you have a cavity when you have an, a text that you need to respond to. Yeah, and like you'll wake up in the middle of the night three weeks later. Like, did I ever respond to that? Ben, and I did it, and I, I did will that do that. Too. I'll, I'll do that. Mm. I'll respond to that text three weeks late, like a mm. jackass, and say, "Hey, so sorry, forgot." A spritz video. Yeah. I did that to you. Oh, and I woke did. up in a cold sweat. You're good. You also woke up in a cold sweat a month ago and said, oh my God, I'm late to Dear Media to record with you guys. I'm like, it's in one month, Connor. <laughs> that, I one, would do that too. I'm one month pre-anxiety <laughs> for were. stuff. Yeah. Oh, but no, we gotta, we gotta get it. Calm down. I know. By the way, Claudia texts me at maybe <laughs> six in the morning Pacific time because they were in New York going, hey, will you run this 5K with me and Ben for this charity thing? And Shut I was like, up. sure. <laughs> oh no and and let me go back to bed it was a dream I can't I said yes so quick that's why I don't respond quickly because I cannot account for my actions because I people please people please people please but if I if I push it off then I have time to really think about it. I would have done it regardless but okay true or false you should drink eight glasses of water per day true we know it's true but did you know that drinking water can actually dehydrate you that you should really drink eight glasses of water per day with a little bit of electrolyte in it. And that's where Element comes in, okay? Because the truth is, if you're feeling lightheaded, if you're feeling crampy, if you're feeling kind of that brain fog, there's a good chance you're not getting all of the electrolytes you need. And the truth is, you're probably drinking plenty of water. You're a good little person. You do your best, but you're not getting the bang for your buck out of water because you need those electrolytes. And Element is delish, okay? And the best part is it's got zero sugar, no artificial colors or, uh, or dodgy ingredients to hold you back. It's just a little bit of potassium, a little bit of magnesium, a little bit of salt, a, a delicious flavor. I, I really, I look forward to it every morning and it doesn't break my fast because I like to wake up and stay fasted for the first part of the day, but you're just going to get so much out of it. No sugar, no caffeine, all electrolytes. And their new Element Sparkling delivers the same zero sugar electrolyte formulation you already know and trust, but in a bold 16 ounce can of sparkling water. And man, do I love sparkling water. Get your free sample pack with any drink mix purchase at drinkelement.com slash goodguys. And if you're an Element Insider, you have first access to Element Sparkling, a bold 16-ounce can of sparkling electrolyte water. The response at 6 in the morning thing is so not real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you need to check in with people. If you ask someone to do something at 6 a.m., they're probably going to close their eyes again, and that has been compartmentalized as a dream. Oh, yeah. Right. Mentally. Oh, yeah. Uh, how scary is it when you make like if you're trying to be a responsible podcaster and you're like let me book this person three weeks out so you know you get the text from someone the day before you know that someone dropped out right and you're there mm -hmm. whatever oh, man. it's mm -hmm. happened to me many times but okay month before the scariest part is a person goes great we're in and then i go how close to the day of recording do i do it a check-in say Hey, right. making sure we're good. Because I know for many, those people are going, wait, I said yes to this? Like, it's a terrifying prospect because you're now a day away. And yeah. they might be like, oh, dude, I can't. It's scary. That is horrible. And it's weird with podcasting. You're right. Because you do promo leading up, too. And we do. We should. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Well, we Marshall, <laughs> get on. By the way, they do promo and they do Patreon. Damn it. Well, we don't. We, we don't suck. even do Patreon. You know, you know Cody Co and Noel. You, yes. Yeah. 
Um, By the way, love Cody Co. Friend of the pod. Yeah. Had him on. Great. I was going to ask you how you met Cody Co. and how you ended up podcasting within his network, but we'll get to that after yeah. what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Um, they have a, they set up a website. They made their own Patreon. So I, oh, that's, and that's, I'm probably like a heavier lift, but it's cool because when you get to the website, there's no navigating the website. It's just like, it's just the podcast under their network, which is kind of cool. cool. Very cool. And, and no, no 30% to so, yeah. freaking Patreon. No, I don't want to talk any smack about Patreon if I end up using it for something else. No, we're probably you going to. Yeah, right. They'll be excited. Yeah, right. Should totally. we, should we do a story really quick? I'm down. So, oh, yeah. A couple of interesting, I mean, this will be slightly, um, you know, when this airs next week, we will have been past the big Tom Brady roast. Right. But I think it's worth talking about. We still talk about it. I mean, you know, they're saying that, you know, the great Kim Kardashian was booed at the Kia Forum. And they're saying that Netflix actually edited out the boos for the final, because it aired live and now it's it's able, you can view it anytime you want on Netflix. And they edited out the boos. I think in general, it's classless. Right to boo someone. Oh yeah, yeah. especially Kim, who's mm -hmm. a fucking legend. Mm -hmm. Right. Like I don't care what you think about her. You don't like the porn. You don't like the fact. Whatever. You're jealous. Just say that you're jealous. Mm. You're jealous that she's a billionaire. You're jealous that everything that that family does right. just makes them money. And you and they're think, and they're machines. You don't think it's the maybe Nick Vile brought this up that it's like our queen, the icon of all icons, Taylor Swift. It's it's because that sort of what happened between them is. It's a bit in it's been in the press as of recently that maybe that was Marshall <laughs> Emma, cut this out. I, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't we I don't, love Taylor Swift here. I don't I don't think it's that personally, but also who does Netflix don't, don't they invite everybody to this roast? It's an invite only, right? I you can't buy tickets to this. I don't think Kim Kardashian no, would can. have gone. You could? There were some people invite that were twenty thousand people. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. I don't think Kim Kardashian, I was thinking the same thing, because she had to go to the Met Gala the next day. There's no way she would fly to LA. Tom Brady, they dated for a millisecond. I don't think that she had any skin in the game to be there if Netflix didn't have her there. And mm -hmm. I also think, R.E. Taylor Swift, I don't think that the fans that were there for Brady are like necessarily Taylor Swift fans. So I, I think mean, that they just... What, do they all have bad taste? <laughs> I, I think that they're... Well, I don't think that they are like that. Different demos. Yeah. Fair. So Fair. they, I don't know if they ride so hard for Taylor that they would like boo Kim Kardashian because mm. of that. I think that they're just classless. Yeah. And she has, she carries herself. She laughs at every joke. She smiles, nods. She never says, she's, you don't, they don't pan to her and she's got a grimace on her face like, you're going to pay for that. She mm. plays the game. She does it well. She's smart. She's funny. And like willing to do all that. That's so cool. Yeah. Who else is doing that? She doesn't need to do that. Right. And she prepared good jokes. It was great. She was good. Yeah, in she comparison was great. to some of what's the receiver's name? Randy Moss. Try less hard. Did you watch it or no? I didn't. I don't Holy really smokes. like Rose, Did you, did you watch Clips? I can't oh yeah. I can't, Randy Moss. Randy Moss. I was I you know what I was actually shocked that all of the the rest of the players and coaches and everyone like they're pretty good. They were amazing. They were excellent. Yeah. Gronk was, was great. hysterical. Nikki Glazer. Oh, she's everyone else can go home. Unbelievable. That was absolutely set the new standard and you could tell everyone in the room she she set the bar so high like kevin hart getting up to the podium and repeating one of her jokes and laughing again he just like was struck by it mm. and she got off she like knew what she did and i looked at her instagram the next day and all the comments were like new fan here from the brady i'm so stoked for her she was amazing and i loved that kevin hart like basically graded your roast after i've never seen anybody do that he like gave validation yeah. to the people that really fucking crushed yeah and was like that was so funny and then for others, he obviously didn't do that. But Nikki, Gla Nikki Glaser was amazing. Who is the other guy? He has a podcast. Um, I had never heard Comedian? of him. Yeah, but he he was a podcaster. Uh, he was sitting in the audience. They brought him up. Oh, um, Tony Hinchcliffe. Oh, yes. Hinchcliffe. kill Tony. Killed. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was amazing. And that's kind of his back. Like, he's, got it. I had never. He's heard kind of, of him. a pro he, roaster too. He is. In addition to comedian, he podcaster. was he was great. Well, kill Tony is fascinating. Kill Tony's in Austin. It's a confusing concept. My understanding is that people come and then they draw a name out of a hat and you come up and you get a minute to do stand up and then you get roasted. Oh, that's cool. Based on, I think that's what it is. Mm. I've watched it a couple of times. There's been a couple stars made from Kill Tony, but Tony himself is not is new to me as well. He's But he's a beast. It's and I scary. think Kill Tony's been around for years and now 
it's again, it's one of those that like was around for seven or eight years. People didn't know about it. And now I think they recorded an episode at the forum. It's so big. Did they? Crushing. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. It, like it almost feels industry planty the way it popped up so fast. But I think that's just like the TikTok of it all. I'm hearing this new term industry plant. Say more. Cause I'm not one. <laughs> Someone, yeah, I know. No, you're the opposite. I'm of dying an, to be. <laughs> you're the opposite of an industry Who plant. Do I have to <laughs> plant me, babe. Can someone buy me some fucking soil? <laughs> someone, someone oh, said, funny. um, industry plant. Someone said this about Rita Ora at the Met Gala. Huh. <clears throat> they said she is, she is the mattress firm of. <laughs> She's the money launderer. She's a money money laundering of a person. Money laundering version of a person, which is just industry plant. Like she's everywhere, everything all at once. Everything mm. everywhere all at once. But like no one knows anything she does. Obviously she's she's like a singer, but like where did she come from? Where did she go? Where did she come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Who is she? I have she's no idea. stunning. She is. She's amazing. And- I th- I feel like the times where I've heard her sing, I'm like, oh, you're quite talented. Yeah, she's dating, or is she with Taika Taika yeah. Watiti? Okay, yeah, but she's been around ben forever. Has no idea ben's what I just per- said. Taika Watiti is a person. <laughs> ben you know thinks him. I, I just you know mentioned him. a Samoan linebacker, <laughs> 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 but he's one of the great directors of our time. He's so <laughs> Taika famous. Taika Watiti, amazing. Love. He's awesome. I have no idea He's who that awesome. Is. But I love Taika Watiti. <laughs> he was in something huge. Now we're going to look like dweebs. Like, no, he not directed any... Thor. Yeah. I mean, he's like famous. Massive. But he's also like a great, like, smaller movie art house director. Like, yeah. He's got the goods. That should be the name of our uh, colostrum company, Taika Watiti. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Patent pending. That's perfect. Yeah, verbal well, trademark. Well, speaking of the Met Gala, you know, Sam Smith was denied a tour of one Met Gala after party as Cardi B and Offset reunite and Jeff Bezos rolled with seven bodyguards. But we're told that uh, even though the recognizable crooner uh, was there and waiting to go in, <laughs> that's New York Post, not me. This sounds like a slur. <laughs> What's a crooner? What is that? Crooner like, like a singer, singer right? yeah, like yeah. a Dean Martin. Like I didn't know we were, the we're, using, we're, we're still using crooner hard R. <laughs> Sorry, I should probably take that out. We'll no, take it out. No. no, it's good. That's funny. Um, <laughs> But, uh, and excuse me, who Sam, who uses the pronouns they, them, but uh, they were told, you're not on the list, you can't come in. That's, I mean, he is, uh, excuse me, they are as famous as famous gets, and to be denied at a party is, that's some Josh Peck shit. Like, I, that's terrifying. Why? Why? Like, there has to be more to the story, right? Is it that um, elite that you must be on a list? Is it that crazy to think that somebody doesn't know Sam Smith's face? No. No. I'm just saying, I always felt weird about these stories. It's like, I can't believe that person didn't get in. Well, that's like kind of assuming that every single person that works at every single club in the entire world is familiar (laughs) with the exact same people and the exact same things. And it sounds like Sam Smith should get a better publicist because if he's going to show up somewhere, the people better know who he is. Otherwise, she should be fired. Uh... Or he. Yeah. Publicist can be she or he. And they should call them their uh, Publis Smith. That's Boom. good. That was good. You're Boom. welcome. Boom. Hey, Boom. that's why we're uh, not on the charts, but we're getting close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Because of things like that. You're not going to see that anywhere else besides here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get the after party thing. It seemed like there were a million after parties. Mm. I would have probably just gone to a different one. I would have like gone the, home. The Dasani. Oh, home. Or home. I never, any of these things that I, I've been to one, I never go to anything i'm like i'm not gonna change and then go have a couple drinks somewhere and then have to uber home and also there's not gonna be anyone there the best that after talk party to me. is an suv and an uber eats order that's true that's wow it is. throw it in it'll be ready by the time i get there <laughs> that is your i have a dream speech i'm in that that's was it. that that's hit it. me in it my did, right that's it wow that's it I, i'm there should be no after party we went to the party. We're exhausted. Yeah. We don't do cocaine anymore. Yeah. It's over. Yes. The party is over. I over. think it's different in New York and LA though. I would love to, after like an event like that, go to like a dive bar with pool and stuff and karaoke after in New York. Interesting. Here, because I can, in New York, I can get home in a taxi in two minutes. Here, it's like an Uber is 18 minutes away. And then I'm probably 25 minutes from my house. 
Mm. And I have to take off my suit. So for shower. Me, for me, I love a good pre-party, a pre-game. Yeah, me too. Invite me somewhere where I can mingle with those people, get nice and loose, and then go to the event yeah. and actually enjoy myself at the event because I'm not meeting people for the first time. Oh, I'm changing you know my I mean? whole opinion. The pre. Every time Make you talk, everything I'm changing earlier. my whole thing. Right. Push it up. I like Push that. Push it up. I like that. Then you're done and in bed at 12 instead of 2. I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I hate the 2 a.m. I hate when it gets dark. Ugh, Same. Same. Yeah, I, I I I think about times in my youth going home as in the sun youth. the sun is coming up. Yeah. That's and you see good people on their way to work. Yeah. Oh, that like, hurts. Like you see people at the bus stop like waiting to do an honest day's work yeah. and you just go, My ancestors are ashamed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's one where you're like, I gotta turn this ship around. That's those way I have done that maybe twice, like stayed up until the sun and I was like both times I'm like, no, no. One was in New York. But like people are built different there too, where it's like, yeah, the clubs don't close. Here they close at one. Yeah. So it's like way easier for me to be like, oh, that kind of sucks. I'm like just getting, just had a Red Bull. Yeah. I'm going to go stare at my ceiling for an hour and a half until I fall asleep. But I New call York, Coke I can... Red Bulls too. <laughs> <laughs> I call them Nose Bulls. <laughs> Just no, kidding. I, I like Red Bull, especially with like the comedy stuff now. Like I house Red Bulls, but I like, and it's perfect for the comedy. But then as soon as you're done, you're like, crap. You know what? Are what are you not? Yeah, of course. Leaders? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, let me just uh, give me one second. For anyone who doesn't know, our what are you nuts moment of the week is your gripes with people, places, and things. Uh, whatever's sticking in your craw currently it can be big. It can be small. Okay. Um, ben, you want to start us off? Sure. Um, I was watching a movie recently and there was a scene where, uh, you know, it's a kindergarten class, maybe it's maybe third grade, third grade class. Girl raises her hand and says to the teacher, can I go to the bathroom? And the teacher says, no, it's not time to go to the bathroom. You should have gone to the bathroom before the class. Otherwise, you wait for the bell. And this just reminded me of this has happened in my life. Mm. And I'm sure this is happening across uh, schools all over America. I need to go to the bathroom. No, I don't think you need to go to the bathroom. Who are you to tell me that I don't need to go to the bathroom, especially when you're an eight year old and maybe had too much juice? Mm. What are you nuts? Teachers, let these kids go to the bathroom. Let them go. So maybe they hop out for an extra five minutes. Skip, is that what you're really afraid of? That they're not going to retain your knowledge? Is that what it is? They're eight. Yeah. What are you nuts? They sure are. What are you nuts? They're vaping now. The eight-year-olds? The eight-year-olds are vaping. Yeah. Great. Vape, vaping sick. Cool. Somebody should make the vape for kids where it's just juice, like it's flavored. Or good things right? like vape fluoride. And they are flavored. Yeah. They are flavored like juice. Yeah. Josh had like the best idea, the Ricola vape. When oh, you have that a would scratchy be, throat. Oh my gosh, imagine. that would be awesome. Can you imagine? You have a sore yeah. throat. It hits your throat immediately. And yeah. that's it. Oh my gosh. That would be great. Right? I know. Why don't they? You know, there it's is a great a, one. Thank you. There's one called Hume. H U M. Yeah. It's not, it's just flavored air, literally. There's no, there's it, nothing in it. It's almost like an aromatherapy yeah, type. Yeah, that yeah, you like can put lavender in it or... and go to sleep with it. That's okay. nice. It is nice. Yeah, nothing like inhaling a flower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it can't, still can't be good for you. I know. They just really need our lungs to be involved in everything recently. Yeah, yeah. They really do. I, um, so I recently was leaving. I, I, my Woody Nuts moment just has to do with, people hanging out outside of a store mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. it's all bad all the time pick a new strategy if i if you have a clipboard we're not making eye contact clipboards equal bad news bears mm -hmm. in the world in which we live mm -hmm. you're either raising money for something religious respectfully no thanks you know or you need me to sign you need me to put my name on a list and i want to say hey babe i know you're getting paid right you don't care about the puppies. You don't care about the agriculture. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> the, agric the agriculture, by the way. Yeah, what are you nuts? Just don't hang out outside of my CVS with a clipboard. I know what you're there for. You're there to inconvenience me, and I got to go. Figure out a better way. I'm on a phone call every time. Oh, I want to sign that so bad, but this is my lawyer. I have to... And then that's I'm, my yeah. move. Oh, it's that's so good. His move. I take a, do you do it when you like, how often do you take the fake phone call? I'm on the phone 
twenty four seven. Every time, yes. Oh, I have my AirPods in. They're dead. No, no, they, no. The AirPods aren't enough. No, no, no. Especially when yeah. you pass by like a scary like homeless man that you think is gonna like stab you right in the Shank neck. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Oh yeah. Police. Yeah, I'm on the phone with the cops. You know, I have a friend that's like, if you act crazier than the crazy people when you're out on a run or whatever, they don't interact with you. Oh. If you also sing a song like out loud. Them? Yeah, he out oh, wow. them. Isn't that insane? That's really smart. It's just, I would, I could never, you know, because my, the way I'm built, oh, I've never but no, that. but if you're like us on a jog and you see a scary person, you're like, ulcerative colitis. Yeah. You know, yeah. they'll be like, leave him alone. Yeah, He's right, got Crohn's. Right, right. That's good. <laughs> that's really good. You know? Okay, I have one. <laughs> Ulcerative colitis, right. You may be entitled to compensation. Okay, I've been flying a lot with a tour, and okay. I know that someone told me um, recently, like, I have so much to say about aer airports and airplanes and everything, and they're like, you're still doing airport jokes? It's an endless supply, and I need to move on, but I can't. When you go down to baggage claim, and you're waiting for your bag, your shins don't need to be touching the conveyor belt. Take a step back. Yeah. Take a step back. I think that's a good rule of thumb in any airport ever. If you're in a line, when, they, when they're boarding the next group, when you're getting your bag of baggage claim, because you know what I have to do? Now I've got to find an opening, and my bag's been ready to go. Mm, right. And I've got to go to the end of the... I'm going around in a loop. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You need to take a step back. Remember, remind me what I'm supposed to say? What are you nuts? What are you nuts? Beautiful. You're, your, your knee's going to get caught on someone's duffel, and Thousand then it's going to be a domino effect. Thousand percent. Honestly, yeah. check bags in general in the system. Nuts. I know. It's Sometimes. No Why can't they just bring them out at the gate? You know how you gate check that. your your little, uh, like, when you get screwed and you can't put anything else in the overhead bin space when yeah. they lie to you? Yeah, And sure. they say, no, I need to take it, and I need to put it below the plane, but then they pull it out, and it's right there waiting. Why can't they do that with all bags? Because some people check guns. Oh. Oh, is that it? <laughs> yeah is it the gun no thing? it's not a, no i would imagine it's an overall um it's an organizational tool to have it go to certain places sure but i yeah. hate it i hate it but yes endless supply of what are you nuts is in airports it's yeah. not lazy it is what it is yeah it is what it is i got a good airport hack that we could t we could tell people mm -hmm. just realize you know everyone in the morning when you go to the airport especially lax there's like two coffee shops and everyone waits for clatch or I can't think of any anything else. Oh, like you're, the United a, you're a United boy. I was just going to yeah. say that. Oh, yeah. Listen, they got them all there at LAX, by the way. Coffee they, they bean. Got a, they got coffee Starbucks, bean. Starbucks. They got everything. But They got Starbies. Um, if you just go, you're getting airport coffee. You're not getting the cup of coffee that you think you're getting from coffee bean and tea leaf. If you go to any restaurant, there's no line. They will give you a cup of coffee. Great point. Go to a restaurant and get a cup of coffee. I have a better hack. Do you really? Yeah. For coffee? Yeah. Fly private? You can, well, yeah. Yeah, fly private. <laughs> uh, Starbucks app, order ahead. Pick oh. It, pick it up. Mobile, oh, mobile, wow. pi mobile pickup. From within the airport. Yeah, you can do it, by the way, when you're literally in your Uber, 45 minutes ahead. What? Your your iced coffee will have melted a little. It'll be sitting right there. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Order Brilliant. ahead, mobile pickup. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah welcome yeah. to no, Biden's that's America. That's, that's a good one. That's great. Not to take your, that's great your good tip and no, share no, no. a better tip. But... I had no idea. Okay, So cool. thank you. <laughs> cool. Then well, take us home. Yes. The great Connor Wood, Fibula on Instagram. Yeah, thank you for being thank here. Thank man. you very thank you much. For having me. This was wonderful. We I'm can stoked. find you on the Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. We can find you on tour. What's the tour website? Um, it's in my link in bio. I know everyone loves hearing that. Okay. It's it's Fibs and Friends on Linktree. If you type in Fibs and Friends tour, it'll Fibs come and up. Friends, wonderful. And uh, this is an unbelievable podcast. As always, Gosh. listen to us on Spotify, Apple, wherever else you get your podcasts. Watch us because you have to watch us. There's so much interaction. Here. Absolutely. Watch us on YouTube, on Josh's YouTube. Share our clips. Watch us Mondays and now Thursdays, folks. And uh, if you don't rate us five stars, what are you nuts? What are you what nuts? What are you nuts? See you next time. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys.